What's happening people? I'm back in the kitchen again and today, in typical fashion when I've committed to a week in the kitchen, the blooming sun's out. What is going on there? I should be out and about filming. Anyway, I'll stick to my guns and we'll carry on with the kitchen reviews for this week because we are going on a trip, remember, at the end of the week. So, today we've got a salmon fillet dinner. Wild pink salmon with sliced potatoes, carrots and peas in a creamy watercress sauce. Now, something on this box you don't see very often. We'll get to that in a minute. This is a meal for young, meal for one by Young's. So, you're hoping that this will be pretty good, but we will see. 395 calories, and it is responsibly sourced fish for life, and it's made in Great Britain, apparently. Right. Is it microwavable? Probably. Let's have a look at the box. So, here we go. Young's, 1805. Elizabeth Young. I didn't know that. That must be her. Um, salmon fillet dinner. And the thing that's very unusual about it, obviously it looks okay, that doesn't it, is this traffic light system. Each dinner, microwaved, contains... 395 calories, but all four are green on the traffic light system. So this is not too bad at all. I expected the salt to be a lot higher than that as well, to be honest. Usually I in ready meals, but overall that doesn't look too bad. And if I'm honest, it looks okay. Just hope that these uh, potatoes don't like dry out and the veg isn't a bit like sweaty. Initially, when I bought this, I thought that was uh, like a parsley sauce, but it does say a creamy watercress sauce, so I don't know what that is, but we'll give it a go anyway. This is the ingredients there. So you've got 30% sliced potatoes, 18% um, pink salmon, 12% baby carrots, 12% peas, 4% cream. That's about it. You've got milk, fish and wheat as your allergens. And that's it. It does say some bones may remain, but I think it says that on every packet. And that's the nutritional information there in more detail. So, 25.6 grams of protein, 46.8 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat, 395 calories. How to cook, how to cook. It does say there, pink salmon fillet with sliced potatoes, carrots, oh, that's the same as what's on the front. Made in the UK with pink salmon caught in the Pacific Ocean. Do not refreeze once defrosted. This has not been um, defrosted, it's frozen. So you can obviously oven cook for 45 minutes. We're not going to be doing that. Wow, even the microwave's a bit long. Nine and a half minutes in the microwave. So you don't have to... So remove out packaging and pierce film lid, place tray onto a microwave plate, and then cook for eight and a half minutes and stand for one minute. Our salmon fillet dinner is best microwaved straight from your freezer. So it tells you actually microwaving is better than oven cooking. And it's microwave from frozen. So that's what we're going to do. Let's have a look at it. The grand reveal. Ta da! Ooh. Looks a bit green. <laughs> look at that. But well, that's probably just that creamy watercress sauce. The pink salmon's going to be under there. So I'll get this in the microwave. And let me tell you how much it is. So the price of this bad boy is £3. And I bought it from Sainsbury's. Now, I did see it in Morrison's, but I can't remember how much it was. Uh, and you'll probably be able to get this in like Asda and things like that. You, you're probably the only place you'll be able to get this is like Lidl and Aldi. But... It'll be available in a lot of supermarkets. But I got it from Sainsbury's, like I say, three quid. What do you reckon to the price? Salmon fillet dinner, for one, meal for one, it says. Three quid. Now, obviously, it'd be cheaper if you bought it all yourself, but salmon's quite expensive, and just, I don't know, I feel like these microwave meals serve a purpose, don't they? If you're on your own, or you're going to work or something, they're, uh, they're not bad, and especially when you go a full traffic light system of green. I don't mind them. Right, I'll bring you back when it's ready in six and a half minutes. Okay, so it's been in for eight and a half minutes. 
what do we think to that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to get it onto this plate, let it sit for a minute, as it, as it says on the instructions, then we'll give it a taste. Okay, so there we go. If I'm honest, the potatoes looked a bit dry, but there is plenty of that watercress sauce and the, uh, the veg looks a bit sweaty, but it does seem like it's quite soft. And then you've got this pink salmon here, which is very pink. Don't know if that's cooked. I think it needs to go into the microwave for a little bit longer. Oh dear. So it does say 900 watts cook for eight and a half minutes, stand for one minute. This microwave is a thousand watts, so that's stronger. And I put it in for eight and a half minutes and it's not warm all the way through. And it did look, I mean, I know it's a pink salmon, but it looked very underdone there. I don't know if you guys agreed, but I've put it back in for another minute minute and a half I put it back in for so hopefully it'll all be good you guys have a little look at this a closer look when it comes back out then we'll have a taste Okay, what do you think to that? It looks a little bit better now, doesn't it? The salmon, anyway. We're going to start with the salmon straight away. We're going to get into it. Because look at that. Actually, it looks quite good now. Look at this. Definitely cooked all the way through. It looks like a nice um, fillet of salmon. Flaky. That watercress sauce does taste a little bit like parsley sauce, to be honest. But yeah, nice, nice piece of salmon, that. Bit small, obviously it's the smallest thing on the plate, but you expect that because it's going to be the most expensive thing for them to put in this uh, ready meal. But it is tasty. Mm. Nice, soft, flaky. And let me tell you, this watercress sauce is absolutely delicious. The, uh, as you'd expect with the potatoes, the fried potato slices, Although they look quite crispy, they're all very soft because it's obviously microwaved. But, you know, it's not too bad. And when you add in the uh, watercress sauce, really tasty. The, uh, the peas and carrots, they're very, very, well, just always the same when you microwave uh, peas and carrots. Very, carrots are a little bit tough and the peas are a little bit um, like overdone, like sweaty. But we'll give them a go anyway. Hmm. Actually, the carrots felt a bit tough, but they're not. But if you add that addition to that watercress sauce in there as well, They do the job. Let's try a little bit of a little bit of everything. Salmon, watercress sauce, potato, peas, carrots. A bit of everything on one bite. <laughs> You know what? I don't mind this. Um, probably not as good as them. Um, sometimes, I think it's Young's who do the fish pies. I think one's called Admirals and one's called something else. But And they're usually about a quid. Uh, and I quite like them, to be honest. Some have got cheese on top. But this, overall, for three quid, 
from Sainsbury's. Probably get it cheaper elsewhere. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. I don't mind it. Only 395 calories. And like I said before, all four traffic lights are green. So, not bad. Obviously not as good as making it homemade. Um, but you know what? I'm happy with it. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. What do you guys think? Have you ever had it? Is there any other Young's fish ready meals that you recommend me try? I've not seen this before, but it doesn't say it's new. I would imagine it's been out for a while. But yeah, three quid. I'm happy with my purchase. Seven and a half out of ten. If you like this video, make sure you like it and subscribe. We are going on a trip at the end of the week. You don't want to miss that. And uh, I'll go finish this. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you tomorrow for another kitchen review. Bye-bye.